And this eighth hole playing much longer today. Cooler conditions back into a hurting breeze. Sit, 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 sit. Asking for it to sit, and it will. Matthew Fitzpatrick with the beautiful fairway wood here to reach the par five eighth and two. As Fitzpatrick has this uh, putt to tie now at six under. Nicely done. And then he's such a good three here at the 12. McCarthy picking up the shot he dropped at the ninth. Scheffler from that bunker behind the 10th green. That's it. Get in. Get in. Look how fast. Yeah. That has a chance. Watch how fast. But now, you just you tested. Know. Yeah, Dan, sorry. You know, before you hit the shot from the fairway down there, all the rock cannot go over the screen. It just sounded like it flew out of there. Yeah, wow. How about that shot? Wow. Just the sound of the club, it just, you know, a little flyer type of shot. Solid strike, high draw, just right of the hole. Just flushed, just pure. Most of Fitzpatrick's shots today have just been on the money. Looked fairly straight to me. Ted Scott to pointed to a spot just outside the left edge, though. They think it's going to the right. Bogey free it today. Definitely does. Oh, yeah, he and uh, Scheffler, or excuse me, he and Matsuyama, the only ones that were bogey free. Now it's just Hideki's bogey free. That's always going to be a tough up and in over the green on 10. So Scheffler was at that 600 number for a few holes and takes a step back here to begin his second nine. Colin Morikawa laid well back here at 17, front left hole location. A lot of ways to get it close, backstop behind. Morikawa's eyes moving up and down, that usually means it's online. And Morikawa's going to have that short putt to get the two under par, four under par in this final round. Distance control is going to be a key. 17. Yeah, Morikawa to get to two under par. At four under in his round after shooting his highest score ever. And here is Will at the ninth for birdie. Underneath the hole from about 18 feet, you go right. Oh, good look at Raj. He walks yeah. it in. Knew it right away. Wow. Hits it in the rough at the ninth. No problem. And that is three birdies in the last four holes to end his opening nine. There's another one. Back to back bogeys for Scotty. This area of the golf course got him yesterday. This is Matsuyama over at the 16th. Looking to maybe get a couple more. And Matsuyama rolls it in from long range at this tricky 209 yard par three. Big birdie there. Fifth of the day. No bogeys. 500 a day. This is John Rahm to get within four. Will Zalatoris made birdie at nine. Oh, beautiful. Another good read trip. Over at the tenth for par, and it's Patrick with another drop shot. Well, you don't want a handful of those types of putts coming in. Those are the nervy ones. You gotta play it outside the hole and uh, well that. This is one we hadn't seen anybody get that break to the left, correct? Oh, but Will did. Birdie for Zalatoris to six him. under. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Oh, that was a good effort. Five it is for Zalatoris. He'll go back to five under. That's fine. As I said, that's fine. Now gather yourself and go over and hit a good tee shot at 13 because that's needed. Maybe three under. You never know. This is not an easy two putt. If he makes it, it'll be a miracle. Easy. Oh. Two largest final round comebacks in U.S. Open history. This is so dangerous if you get off 
the mark with the second. This is Matsuyama for par. And this is a run of bogey-free golf for Hideki Matsuyama in the last 30 holes of this championship. 65, the low round of the week. Really nice contact. Needs to sit. Oh, well done there. Had to have it. And he does. Yeah, good stroke. Excellent putt. Here at 15 for getting the par fee. You still want to be about uh, five steps left of this hole. Well, he got a lot more ball than I thought. That's fine. That's a really good shot right there. Just like you said. That's where he had to go. I can't mess with that hole. You'd have been in the high stuff, so 117 out of the rough on an uphill slope. We hold it out here from 55 yards on Friday for an eagle. Oh, good line. Should have some release out of that line. And look at this shot. A very makeable birdie. Yeah, that's to get with. Well, that is to tie the lead, actually. Decky a little more towards the center and a little more towards the back, but yeah. a very similar putt. Yeah, this is a hard putt to get. Oh. The speed right. He's done it. How about that? Big fist bump for Matt Fitzpatrick. And now Will Zalatoris will have a par putt to stay tied for the lead. This could get interesting here. If this goes in, three could be tied for the lead. Good looking putt there. Oh, he answered. Who says he can't putt? Not me. Is that miss going to be down the stretch? Played a lot of break for a putt that short. Let's see if he can let this rip. He's been uh, putting a cut sling on these. And he's headed up to right. Yeah, that's going to catch fairway. Sure is. So both in good shape. Uh, the pressure to put it on the fairway is enormous. Can reach the green maybe if you hit this fairway at least be able to lay up on top he's a little concerned and yeah, no need over the hill and watch it just roll down the hill it's a tough shot off a down slope rory's got 186 yards back left pin should be a green light a really good pass at this one just left of it And the former world number one, four-time major champ, Rory McIlroy. And Scheffler. He's powered the 15th three times this week. And that finds the, well, there are three cuts of rough there. It's in the second one. It's a layup, but you got to hit a quality shot. Yep. This should be just fine. Oh, well, yeah, that's perfect. As you can see, the divots there. That has been the popular play. On the other hand, he carries a and seven. This wood. is right at the green. Let's see where this ends up. Yeah, he yeah. knew it was going to be short, but he's in good shape. He pumps it up there a little deeper. Yes, he can. Back to back birdies for Rory McElroy. And this from 95 yards. Yeah, this is a bit of a knockdown. A little right of the hole. It's a beauty.
And there's Eddie Lowry the, holding the scoreboard there. <laughs> All right, come on back. Oh, a little unfortunate. If it just had a little side screw down the hill. Inch its way closer, so good chance for a birdie. Get him within two. This is 14. And the third for Fitzpatrick, just 70 yards. And he is way outside of Zalatoris. This for his fifth birdie of the day. And oh, that one never high enough, and that'll be a disappointing four. And Scotty Scheffler, 217 yards from the thicker rough here. Flag in the back left. See if he can run something up this green. And he ran it up the green all right and over. Yeah, up the hill here. Should go a little to his left. He gave it a good wrap. Oh no. Another one of those. Don't want those coming back. Uh uh. There's a long putter up the left arm. So he taps in for five. It's Patrick still grinding on his five. And, uh, it's usually pretty. Reliable and putts of this length. That flag <laughs> stick in, it goes right off of it. Not many guys leaving the flag stick in all the time, like Fitzpatrick does. Oh. And he did well. He did very well. Gave it a chance. And it's so easy to let that one get away from you. Safely done. And a nice up and down from over the back there. That could have gone the wrong way. That's a good swing. A little right. Will go kick a field goal at the 15th. I mean, drove it over the path yesterday. This one's over there where Woodland was. So a lengthy, lengthy second. It's plus two on this back nine. And it's a good safe shot into the heart of the green. After those two bogeys on 10 and 11, he's held them stuff together pretty steady, I think. And that's how he did them with that little three quarter finish. Can he control the distance? Oh, oh he did. Oh, he threw it in there, didn't utilize the slope, got it the right distance. See if he can get it the right speed. Every single player yep. from that position. Yeah. Easy. Speed has been really good all day. Yeah, that's a good solid par. Again, the Masters champion trying to win a U.S. Open in the same year. As the number one player in the world, he went to world number one in March, won the Masters. <laughs> quick rhythm, struck it well. Oh, what a shot! Wow, very good. Maybe land it in the front, just short, and get it to Chase. Just came out kind of dead. Yeah, I tried to cut it over there and just came out dead straight on him. That's the other bunker you do not want to be in. That is a really long bunker shot, David. Yeah. All right, Scotty Scheffler on the tee, fairway metal in hand. Yeah, they like it, and they should. 
perfectly positioned. Three out of four times from the sign so far this week. He's trying to play the chuck and run. But it ain't going to run that far. I quite got enough of it. Importance. A whole lot of importance. That can work. That leaves the door open for Fitzpatrick. In fact, Fitzpatrick's had Thanksgiving dinner with him after that amateur win. This looks good. He made it. He made it. Just a moment ago, Adam Hadwin had virtually the same putt we saw McElroy miss. Yeah. But Hadwin did. Adam Hadwin gets to two under par with back to back birdies, looking for his best ever finish in a major. Six iron, he's got out. Another one of those confident swings that we've been seeing all day by Fitzpatrick. Just climbs over in a great position. And now live, huge putt for Scheffler to get within one. Wow! Clutch, great wedge shot. Look at that 16. Zalatoris now finds himself scrambled in two back. He's got to get up, maybe. Too bad a response after a bogey. What a shot by Zalatoris. Let's go, Scotty. Let's go, Scotty. Very high at those bunkers, cutting off from now. May need to get down. Nice soft bounce big, there. Yep. Big time shot, Woody. And Fitzpatrick will now see what the 17th has in store for him. Not much in this little uphill, actually, from here. That was a solid stroke for Zalatoris. Very high, but towards the center of the green. Beautiful shot. Safely over that big bunker that he got into yesterday. He made a nice long putt for par. Yeah, electing to take the iron. Get the tee quickly, should be good. Right center. Ideal position. You see both these players have played this 17th hole well. Both have made two birdies in the first three days here. Front left hole location, different green back then. But same idea. This from 140. Sit, 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 sit. Just right of the hole, maybe a little deep. Oh, there's a slope there. He gets it back there far enough, it'll pick up speed. It didn't quite get it as far as he needed to, to utilize the slope. Little around the hole going deep. We're trying to catch that slope. Oh, this is going to be Here good. Comes. Yep, this is going to be good. He got it deep enough. 
Okay, brings it back far enough. in for par. Hadwin made bogey. One under for the championship. And Scheffler is in at five under and we'll see how it all unfolds behind him. Whatever happens, this remarkable stretch of golf continues for the number one ranked player in the world. Boy, what a lag. Yeah. I mean, he barely started that and it got to the hole. <laughs> It was fast. He knew it. <laughs> he wasn't going to take any chances of knocking it four feet by. <laughs> and Billy having a chuckle about that, Gary. Yeah. Well, some putts you have to be defensive, and that was one. That looks beautiful. Is it good, Rod? Starts up the left, cutting. High cut. Wow. And that's deep. And that sets up Zalatoris to have a good crack with the second. Yeah, for the most part, he's driven the ball brilliantly today, really. Little left. That's uh, looking. Took him. Oh, it stays short. Oh, right in front of that island rough that's in the middle of that bunker. What a mistake. Pressure shot. Big time clutch shot by Fitzpatrick. Full attack now for Zalatoris. Okay, looks good. It's a little deep rock, but he pulls the string on it. And he'll be inside, just inside of Fitzpatrick for his birdie attempt. So he's left a crack in the door for Zalatoris. So it's come down to one final putt. Are we going to see that two hole aggregate playoff? Fitzpatrick is a champion again at the Country Club in Brookline. And once again, Zalatoris comes just short. Billy Foster's got his major, and Matthew Fitzpatrick has his first win in the PGA Tour, and it's a major title. Oh, he deserves it. And there's Alex on the bag. Oh, my God. His mom. Oh, so proud of you. Oh, I love the team. Go on. You went very hard. You beauty. Oh, His parents, Russ and Sue, they've all been staying in the Fulton house.